Oh my god. Coming up in this episode. Sex. And got a ring. Porn. It's the elephant in the room. Well, more like a cloth-eared elephant. You know, when you turn your pockets inside out and shake your willy around. <laughs> no? Oh, just me then. You've seen it. Your friends have seen it. Your family, your parents have probably seen it. Everybody's watched it. Except for me. Which means I'll be basing this episode entirely on hearsay. I was climbing a rope in gym class when my penis formally introduced itself. We were quickly shuffled in front of a television, only to come face to face with... The penis. The external male sex organ is located in the penis. It looked like a forgotten creature from the deep. The kind James Cameron would make a film about, which still wouldn't be as scary or as convoluted as the internal workings of a woman's reproductive system. The egg leaves the ovary and journeys down the fallopian tube onto the seesaw, catapulting the diver into the pool, causing the cage to fall down. And that's Mousetrap. Toby, I'm trying to tell you I'm pregnant. <sighs> it wasn't until Channel 5's Friday night TV schedule where I really learned the secret of sex. That and magic. Welcome back. The mask magician makes his entrance. What a showman. Now for the illusion. Remember, don't try this at home. Nope, that's not going anywhere. Let's try that again. His thumb visibly moves across his hand. Obviously, there has to be a logical explanation, and there is. The thumb you're seeing is actually from his other hand. I bet you didn't see that the first time, did you? And the mask magician has done it again. Just don't pull his finger. Next on Channel 5, indecent behavior. Everyone's getting off. But someone's getting off. Did you need to inspect this, detective? Hmm. Yep, that's herpes. That joke's actually not funny because I actually had herpes once, but I don't anymore. It was around this time that I started to want to see women naked. Doing stuff. Between Friday Night's erotic thrillers and dodgy photoshops of Sabrina that could have only been composited by Picasso, my friends and I had to use our imagination. Oh, baby. You remember what it looks like, right? Bingo! <laughs> then through a chance meeting with some passing Eastern European men. These are not stolen goods. I stumbled across a treasure trove of video CDs. Not quite a video, not quite a CD. These discs quickly littered the playground like Tamagotchis. It's a good one, this. Except they weren't Tamagotchis. They were hardcore porn. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Soon the entire cultural world was at our fingertips, thanks to peer-to-peer -peer file sharing services like LimeWire. Music, movies, video games. LimeWire Pro, that f***ing Matrix screensaver. We had it all. And for free! There's really only one thing people used it for. <coughs> oh god! Okay, who wants to see a man sit on a glass jar? I witnessed a starship getting sucked into a black hole vagina, a woman pushing a Fanta can out of her bum, and a girl having sex with a horse. R.I.P. This wasn't what we learnt in school. Syphilis, genital warts, and gonorrhea. The only thing to get AIDS, of course, was my f***ing computer. Oh, thanks. But porn has come a long way since then. So I hear. So what better place to learn about the adult entertainment industry than the UK's largest sexual health and lifestyle expo? Sexpo. They, they called it Sexpo. It's Sexpo. We went to Sexpo. Go. I went to Sexpo, okay?
One porn star mustache later. It turns out my Catholic upbringing hadn't quite prepared me for, well, Triceracock. My fellow pervis and I didn't really know what to expect, but it wasn't this. These performances are what I expect to find at an adult version of Butlins. But plugins, if you will. The whole thing was just the opposite of sexy. They should have just taken sex out of the name completely and called it Poe. You know, as it did have the same amount of sex appeal as a Teletubby. Custard, custard. This artist was using his member to paint customers portraits. He should be called Pricasso. <laughs> oh, he is. The biggest surprise of Sexpo, however, was when The Undertaker came out and made a surprise return. But that turned out to be more naked women. Which in hindsight, I guess, did make more sense. It was then time to learn how to pull a porn star. And I'm sure all of you guys, if you ever try our cam, you will enjoy it too. It is pretty hardcore. And you get what you want, exactly what you want. Ever since I was a kid, girls have made me nervous. Hurry up, they can't! They tell you what down this fucking get down! Get down! Right! And it's kind of becoming easier and easier for guys to avoid all physical interaction with them thanks to apps like Tinder. Fortunately on Tinder, if you go and talk to the guy in Pewter City, then surf by Steam for miles, you'll eventually stumble upon a wild missing though. So, do you come here often? All I really want is a girl with big brown eyes, short, dark hair, small, sumptuous lips. Maybe she's cultured. Where's the little green beret? Is it Maria? I'm trying to talk to the... The way that girls are presented online, it's kind of easy to forget that they're real people. Google it. They are. According to porn though, what I really want is a girl that looks like my first attempt in creator wrestler mode. I know what I'm making bigger. She's beautiful! Porn is often violent. It's like a battle. It's like choking and slapping, you know, because men, manly men, I don't know what love is. What's love? Who said I like kissing? I don't like kissing. I don't want to know from watching a porno or Smackdown. Yes, JR. Yes. In 2015, we watched 75 gigabytes of porn per second. Not we isn't me and you. <laughs> Although it does seem that way sometimes. On your side. <laughs> 75 gigabytes though. This is a 64 gigabyte. Imagine if this was full of porn. Well, you don't have to imagine it is full of porn. But more than this, every second. Imagine how much spanking that is. <laughs> Unless you're in the UK, that is. You see, our government quietly bans spanking, face sitting and female ejaculation as a method of safeguarding our children. Sure, I should have been older than 12 before seeing my first octo porn. But we're not going to stop watching porn. And women certainly aren't going to stop ejaculating. You know, if that even exists. I guess as it becomes more and more normal, you know, we should start treating it for what it is. Porn, it's fantasy. Real women, are much better. So instead of watching girls, maybe try to talk to one. Hey, I'm just making this video. Thank you for watching my new video. This video is actually sponsored, so a big special thanks to Live Jasmine. Live Jasmine's a great website where you can go ahead and watch all, it's not sponsored. The video's not sponsored, don't be silly. If you like this video though, and want more of my questionable content, 
Uh, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and follow me on Twitter for updates. See you soon.